afternoon. My name is uh, David Claudio, and, and I'm going to talk about thermal drilling. The, the idea with thermal drilling is to uh, form holes in thin materials. And, and uh, the, the whole idea is to get rid of nuts or inserts. And um, so the, what, what happens here is that the, um, the, the tool forms the hole instead of cutting it in the metal. So the material that normally gets cut is used to form a bushing that generally triples the material thickness. And you know, once once you have that additional thickness, then you can tap it, so you have additional threads. Some of our customers they they use this additional wall for support, and uh, they insert another tube and do some bracing, or they will use it as a as a rotational support for some rotational application. And, and how does it work? The, what, what we use is this tool that looks like a little cone, a little bullet, that turning at high speeds, the, the speeds go from 1,000 to 3,000 RPM, depending on the diameter. And that, the rotational speed combined with the uh, downward pressure, the actual pressure, uh, creates a friction heats up the material and plasticizes it enough to push through and form the hole and form the bushing. Some of the, the material comes up and gets rolled, rolled, up, rolled in, you see it? So it leaves like a, a little washer around the the upper surface, but the, the bulk of the material goes down into the into the part, and that's what gives you the three times the material thickness. It it works in uh, most malleable materials, including steel, stainless, aluminum, brass, copper, titanium. And it, it's used for thin materials. You cannot go into a solid piece because you need you need some space to displace the material. And we can go as thin as 032 to half an inch. And the diameters range from 0 0.08 to two inches. We we have some uh, parts here. And, and the, the tool, basically, it's, it's a very simple uh, set of tools. We have them in short for very thin materials, and we have them in long for thicker materials. We also, as you saw in the video, uh, you, the tool leaves a, a washer-looking thing around the, the upper surface, uh, but we can also mill it off if you want a flush surface. And, and that's what we call the flats. And and we can we can build whatever shape you need. You know, sometimes customers will need different diameters within the same hole. So we can do that. We can also build one to leave a chamfer around the entry to the hole. Whatever you need, we can we can probably help you. And um, we, you don't need any special equipment, you know, a standard drill press, a milling machine, or a CNC unit will work. And, you know, the question is why use thermal drilling versus conventional drilling? 
And again, the idea is to avoid the use of nuts, welded nuts, welded bosses, or inserts. And uh, the, the tool um, is pretty durable. It's made of carbide, and, and it will last eight to 10,000 holes in standard in, in mild steel. After you, you, do, you make the hole, then you, uh, you come in and, and tap. You can tap it using a forming tap, as we're doing here. And, and we, have, we have tools for metric, for UNC, UNF, uh, NPT, whatever, whatever type of thread you need, we can help you. And, and typically, uh, these joints uh, are, are as strong as the equivalent welded nut. So they're, they're pretty strong. These are some of the applications, uh, a lot in the automotive. But really, any, any place where you have thin materials and you need to join parts together, that's where it can be applied. In the medical field, uh, we have a lot of uh, equipment in hospitals, uh, like hospital beds, uh, wheelchairs. You know, because they all have thin tube, tubular parts. As you can see here, the wheelchair. I know it, we call it a, an innovation. It's been around for more than 40 years. It's very common in Europe. Here in the States, a lot of people get surprised that it, it exists. Some of them congratulate us because they think that we came up with the process a couple of weeks ago, and, but it's, it's been used for many, many years. So, you know, it's a, it's a pretty reliable, you know, companies like Mercedes-Benz, BMW, uh, they, they've been using it for years. We're in booth 127. If we have a, a little drill press there that we can show you the process if you want to see it.